The Young at Art Creative Workshop is an initiative created by contemporary artist Biodo Molayo. During summertime, children gather at his gallery in Lagos to hone their creative skills. Paintings, drawings, pottery, tie and dye, just to mention a few, the conclusion of the Young at Art Creative Session carried out by Biodo Omolaya Gallery Lagos. When children and teens are on holiday, they have good, clean fun here while learning in a relaxed atmosphere. The program is designed to boost the creative uh, potential of children and young adults. And we've been doing that since 2003 when we started, when we took off. And then every year in, year out, we take the children in from ages 4 to 19. We have different facilitators who take classes to a mentor and the tutor the children. We have performing art, visual art, and then the literary art. What began strictly as a visual arts affair has all the elements infused into the usual practice session to catch the children's attention, encourage their creative expressions as they interpret different societal issues using art. Today I'll be telling you my artworks, about my artworks, like my collage that I did with the pieces of paper to make a love heart for my mom. And also when I painted, my hand and paste it on the heart so I could make a lovely heart with my finger. And the time I made a painting without my hand, I just used a paintbrush. And also when I drew my water bottle and painted it. I did a lot, I've done a lot of artwork. Well, I've learned about many things, things that they might teach us in school that things that may, that may teach us here that they may not teach us in school, like collage, painting, texture, drawing, all kinds of different topics and new stuff to explore every day. Um, creative art is like talking, like when you just imagine what to draw and then you just put it down on a piece of paper. Creative art to me is like a topic that can make you to be a problem solver. You can solve any problem. If you think about it closely and then you imagine it and then you know the solution. I was impressed when I came here. I was, I was actually telling Mr. Malayo that it would be challenging controlling the children, but in fact, I got here. When I tell them to do this, they're already doing it. We made it from the beginning to the end. We packaged everything and we put the labels on the hand wash together. They were just so wonderful. They were more advanced than their age. When you give them instruction, they follow it. In fact, I've never seen children. And the youngest, I think the youngest is six years old. Yes. Princess, she's, she's something else. They are very lovely pieces coming from children. I'm quite amazed. I wasn't expecting to see this. I think they are lovely pieces. From what I can see here, we have a lot of beadwork, we have a lot of paper mash, we have uh, paintings, we have sculptural pieces. It's lovely, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so impressed with the, the works I'm seeing here. Contemporary artist Biodu Omolaya, who created this vision, is glad with the talents that have emerged from this workshop which has left an impression on the visitors over the years. It's so amazing, fantastic experience that I met here today. I've heard about Omolayo uh, Gallery for quite some years now. And um, on arrival here, I, uh, I was amazed with uh, the display of uh, artwork that I saw the children achieve during the summer. Um, much more so that uh, I could see um, the finished job that's what um, using as an art of inspiration within the house. 
and um, it's a place to be for every child in Nigeria. We are going to have our ninth first class graduates uh, because every year we have either one or two. We have a lot of them and they are graduates, but not just in visual art, some of them in architecture, engineering, and some other area of endeavor. Some even study law. So, and that's, that's a buttress the point that we've made that look, we are not just coaching them to be artists, we are just developing their creativity. If you are very creative, you know how to use your gift and your talent to solve problems. Creativity about problem solving. The children have their names boldly written on the brightly colored pieces and are in awe at the way their works have been put up for their parents and words to admire. For me, I think you should allow your child to do whatever he or she wants to do because the truth is that when the children are allowed to do what they like, maybe it's their passion, it comes out better because they are able to express themselves. And at the end of the day, they bring out works that are lovely for people to see. Children, they love, let me say this, they love to play with clay. And they love to play with paper as well and colors. So we've engaged them in that area. For instance, some of the work they frame now, you see collage, using different materials to create uh, images. They used uh, beads, paper, stone, feather, and some other things to create uh, um, art. And then they've done textile art as well where they print on fabrics or design on fabrics. Those are some of the children they've done. And then they've done sculpture as well. And then in terms of environmental art, you can see what they've turned plastic into, uh, discarded plastics, water bottles and everything. They've turned into art that people could use at home. So that is part of what they've done. And you know, children, they have their own style. Uh, I think uh, I'm learning even from them. You know, the children with their own free will, they want to draw, no, they are not hindered by anybody, they don't even look at you. They, they are just innocent, the way they draw their lines. They are not concerned about whether anybody is looking at them or not. So I think we adults, we, we have a lot to learn from them as well. When you are doing your work, be free-minded. Do it, let be free about it. Don't be constrained, because the children are not constrained. If you see what they draw now, see the way they put their houses, forget about proportion, forget about all the, all the jargons of art but they are enjoying it, they are creating something. The buzz here is that there is a lot of potential in this room that can be harnessed and going forward, the children can beat their chest and take pride in the works of art they have created. That ingenuity can help them navigate their daily lives.